Good morning. I was a really crappy vlogger yesterday, but there's nothing I could do about that because we had three dives yesterday, all of which were, uh, we, I was unable to bring the camera anyway. So yeah, we did the three dives. It was a really long boat trip out to the dive sites. And um, we got back around sunset, had dinner and passed out at nine. So you missed nothing. <laughs> Now we're just getting breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. You and your mom? Sis. Yep. Woof, well, I haven't vlogged for like basically the past few days. But that's because we've been getting our advance for the past few days and you're not really not supposed to take any cameras with you underwater. So there's really no point in me taking either the GoPro or this camera. It's just all been just class stuff. So basically the past two days, we've had five fun dives, AKA, that one in my eye. What? Your cologne. Oh, us. It's burning. Basically, yeah, it's just been a bunch of fun dives and adventure diving, which is, can you not step on that, please? That's what I'm more concerned. Yeah, what you, could you feel it? Um, anyway, let's restart. So it's been five adventure dives, basically. One of them was the deep dive with the thresher sharks, and then we had another dive yesterday, or two dives yesterday. One was like all skills, the second one was just a bunch of coral and fish identification the day after. Then today we had, um, what was the first dive? It was the deep rock dive, lots of fish, really cool. And the last dive was the night dive, which I was very skeptical on because I do not want to do a night diving because it's scary. But it ended up being super cool. My number one dive goal since we started diving was to see an octopus. And not only did I see an octopus, it was a blue ringed octopus, AKA I could have died. But that's okay, because it was really cool. Did a little dance in the water, it was awesome. The night diving was actually super cool because all the fish were out to play and there's tons of extra animals down there, like crabs and stuff. Someone's gonna yell at me on YouTube saying that crabs are not animals, they're like different types of animals, but whatever, it's fine. So tomorrow, so right now we're just gonna get some dinner because tomorrow we're waking up extra early again at 4 a.m. because we did not see any thresher sharks, so now we gotta do it all over again to see if we can find some. And we're also getting doing more school tomorrow because we hate ourselves and we love school. You can't see me right now, but we're gonna go get dinner. I'll bring you along. Hey. Couple of cocktails, fairy lights, and all my doggy friends. Just having dinner with all my friends. Bitch, but I have my money. This is what happens to your leftovers. <laughs> what is in there? Well, it's like some soup. <laughs> He's like, you caught me. Sorry. All right, we are back from some dinner and, whew, oh, there we go. We were back from some dinner and some drinks by the beach. We've been eating and drinking at Ocean Vita, which is the sister resort to where we're staying at, which is Buena Vida. Uh, we had a lot of doggy friends, if you could see by the clips. And uh, we have a lot of like housekeeping things to do right now. We've got to charge a bunch of stuff because we're going on a very cool dive tomorrow. And we have to do a lot of, sink laundry because that's the most glamorous backpack real life you'll ever see. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of laundry we need to get done. So we are staying, our resort has like a really nice balcony area with like this ladder that you can like hang all your clothes on. So we're going to try to take full advantage of that and do all of our laundry tonight. So that way it'll have time to dry tomorrow. And then after that, tomorrow is a really big diving day. And we're going to be diving with Nitrox for the first time, which is uh, if you're not a scuba diver, normally your oxygen tank contains 21% of oxygen and then the rest of it is nitrogen. Um, with nitrox, it's an increase in oxygen and decrease in nitrogen. So 
uh, you have a little bit more oxygen and less nitrogen in your system so that way you can stay underwater a little bit longer. So we are getting certified in that tomorrow. And it's gonna be very exciting. We're really hoping to do another night dive as well tomorrow. So it'll be four dives in total uh, for tomorrow. So, oh, I don't know, we'll see if that all works out. Um, yeah, otherwise it's been a very nice day. Got to see everything I wanted to see. Um, we saw some mandarin fish mating, which I guess is a really cool phenomenon. I mean, Tim and I aren't really into like the little baby fish. We like like sharks, turtles, octopus, like big things. Um, but it was still really cool to see. So we're hoping to do another night dive so we can see some more octopus. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go to bed now. It's like almost 11 o'clock and we have to be up at like, we have to be at the dive shop at 4.30. So we'll probably get up at like, like 4.10 or something like that. Uh, I'm still kind of congested, so <sighs> we'll see. It, it hasn't been a problem diving though. Um, but every time the dive instructors ask or the dive masters ask if we're sick, I always tell them no. But I am feeling a little bit under the weather and I am kind of congested, so we'll see. I'm sure it'll be fine tomorrow. I've been diving for the past two days like this, so it'll be fine, but it is what it is. So we will see you tomorrow for a very cool diving day. We are going to bring the drone and we'll bring you, so it'll be awesome. Um, yeah, so have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, good afternoon. Well, actually, good morning. It's still like 10 o'clock in the morning. Again, yesterday was a crappy day of vlogging because we were diving all day and we were still doing the course. So this morning, we woke up super early at 4 o'clock and got to see some pressure sharks. Hopefully, it was pretty awesome. Hopefully, the GoPro video came out well and you actually got to see that. Uh, we came back, had some breakfast, and so we are on our way hopefully, to a sandbar called Kalangaman Island. And the problem is this boat has stopped like twice already. I'm not really sure what's going on. I think the engine's all messed up. So that happened to us this morning too when we went to go see the pressure sharks. It all kind of got messed up. So hopefully we're a little bit out. Hopefully it's not too bad when we get the boat started again. It's hot. We have two more dives here, and then that's it. That's the end of the diving for this trip, and then we have two more nights left. Are you sad? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then that's the end of the trip, so we'll get back to you. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It is really nice out working on the tan. Because I've been in a wetsuit for I feel like most of the strip.
Well, you probably can't see me, but that's okay. We had a very wonderful day of diving, as you could probably tell from the GoPro shot and the drone footage. Um, I spent my longest time under the water, over 70 minutes. <laughs> uh, not on purpose by accident, because <laughs> I miscalculated my deco stop time, but that's okay. That's all right. I still have plenty of air when I came up. Um, then we just kind of hung out at the hotel for a little bit, got cleaned up, and now we are here, and the lighting is, oh, oh, the lighting's not bad right here. Oh, it's still bad. Anyway, so now we're back at Ocean Vita, where we've been eating for the past couple nights anyway, and we are getting some dinner. That's our last night here on Malapasqua, and our second to last night here in the Philippines, which is really sad. Are you upset? Uh, well, I, you missed it there, trying very, to get him out of the chair. Very, very upset. One word. All right, <laughs> so now we're going to enjoy it ourselves. Bye. We just had a lovely dinner. I'm so full and I'm so tired. We've been up since like 4 a.m. this morning doing diving. Didn't get a nap today. And it's like, what time is it right now? It's like 10 o'clock right now. We are exhausted. And we still have to get up kind of early tomorrow. Because we still have to take our final exam for our nitrox course. I'm really, really congested still from diving. Um, we still have to take our final exam for our nitrox course. And we still have to go over stuff for advanced diving. And we gotta get our pictures done and everything for our license. You can't see me because it's so dark. But I really don't care because I'm exhausted so I will end the blog in the room because it's dark and I feel bad doing it like this and that is the end of the vlog for at least I'll probably put all this stuff I'll probably put the last like two or three days together so that's the end of the vlog for the last couple days um, and we are headed we have a long trip back we have to go from here, take a boat ride, back to Cebu, from Cebu, like a three or four hour, probably three hour car ride to Cebu Airport. And for Cebu Airport, we take a flight all the way back to Manila, and then we get to our hotel in Manila, and then that's it. And then that's the end of the trip. So it's a very, very long travel day tomorrow. I'm already exhausted. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.